Hi there everyone and this is Chrissy from InTheStarsByChrissy.com and in this video we are going to be talking about the 2021 Numerology Energy Forecast Reading. So um, last year if you have seen my video, the 2020 Numerology Predictions, uh, I did mention that that year uh, is a number 4, has a lot to do with the 4th house and the number four is associated with cancer, which is uh, the crab. So what is the crab? The crab cannot, cannot walk in forward motion. The crab walks in side, sideways manner, basically. And I did mention that everything is going to be focused on home life, family, security, and emotional well-being. So, and during that time, I didn't even know that, you know, what's really going to happen in, in our world as a whole. But uh, that energy, that theme still manifested. And this is what numerology is really all about. You know, it gives us the frequency and energy of what might occur uh, throughout the course of the year. So, um, it is a very interesting thing. And if you have been tuning in with my uploads and videos, and you will know that I have been very much excited for 2021. Not just because I'm so fed up with 2020. It's just that I kind of feel that 2021 is going to be the most uplifting time for us. There's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of positivity in the air. Um, so yeah, um, let us begin by checking in with the numerology. 2021 is the number five so this has a lot to do with the fifth house and it has it is associated with the sign of the leo leo the lion has a lot to do with their heart they are known for being very expressive and emotional and have a sense of power in them they are very commanding as well and at the same time there's always some form of positivity to them you know it's a very uplifting energy and it is re being ruled by the sun and the sun gives vitality to all so i kind of feel that you know there's going to be a lot of improvement and changes now the number five uh, speaking of changes, the number five triggers changes. So um, when we are talking about changes, it can happen in, in, in a positive way and in a negative way. So I would say that there's going to be a lot of shocking elements that might be transpiring because uh, this is change, you know, it's very unpredictable. And speaking of unpredictability, uh, this is, you know, Leo is the opposite sign of Aquarius. So if you are aware of astrology, you know that Aquarius is in this is in a very hot spot right now. Saturn and Jupiter is going to be it's already joined in the sign of Aquarius. So there's already going to be a conjunction with that and it's going to be a start of new era. You know, a lot of astrologers are making a big fuss about it. And for me, I'm just excited of this alignment because it tells us that there's going to be great manifestations that is going to be happening and transpiring for each and every one of us into the world as well. I really feel that, you know, um, ever since Uranus went into Taurus, you know, this already triggers a lot of changes when it comes to tradition. So I kind of feel that there's going to be a lot of eccentric um, energy that's going to be manifesting. And it's not a bad thing at all. I mean, I don't hate that kind of stuff. So um, speaking of Aquarius, this is also associated to the 11th house. 11th house has a lot to do with groups of people. So this could be the time of the year we're in. Uh, we are going to be getting together with a lot of people again. So, you know, the time of seclusion and isolation might just be over or, you know, it could be a thing of the past. At the very least, that is how I see it. And um, what else? The fifth house has a lot to do with joy, with children, and learning new things. You know, it has a lot to do with education as well. And past lovers, you know, this is all fifth house. Things that makes us happy, that 
gives us a sense of joy in the world. So these are the things that are going to be in focus and at play. So the fifth house also in tarot has a lot to do with the Pope and it is uh, the hierophant card basically and this has a lot to do with religion with um, traditions as a whole and i would say you know um, having respect with our elders is going to be a big deal and at the same time anything that has a lot to do with hospitals government these are the things that are going to be in focus i kind of feel that you know this could be a time we're in some form of powerful people going to be at the top of things and going to change how the world should work uh those kinds of energies i really feel that you know the strong energy of aquarius is going to vibrate in a very very strong manner into things so what else have i missed out um there's going to be a lot of freedom in the air, you know. So right now, we feel very uh, restricted and all of that. I kind of feel that uh, people are going to fight for their own rights. Uh, the, the energy of the fifth house is also, you know, the number five. Speaking of number five, let's focus on that. In cartomancy, um, the number five signifies the body of a human. It has a lot to do with our hands as well so you know there's going to be a lot of movement a lot of action it's going to be a very busy year i would say and when it comes to work as a whole i kind of feel that you know uh working from home is still still going to be a thing because uh aquarius and the fifth house has a lot to do with the internet as well as because the highlight right now is the fifth house aquarius leo and i would say uh it already say 11th house so 11th house also has a lot to do with uh internet and all of these things actually uh is talking about goals being attained so there's going to be a lot of manifestation that's going to be happening now and when it comes to astrology uh there's also going to be an aspect of uranus that is going to be active throughout the entire year so expect your plans to to change you know um a lot of sudden things can really happen and it is best to just be open to them and not to try to control things because i kind of feel that it, the more you try to control things uh the more difficult things might be for you because Saturn and Jupiter in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by both Saturn and Uranus. And so it gives me a feeling that there's going to be a lot of Uranian energy as well. So uh, changes and unpredictability is really, really strong. Also, this can really mean that, you know, our relationships, there's going to be either improvement, changes, or breaking free, uh, a breakup of some kind might occur. Uh, that kind of thing is very much possible. Uh, this is all about uncertainty and adventures in life as well. I mean, um, everything has a positive and negative aspect to it. And for me, uh, you know, just welcome this energy. At the same time, this energy has a lot to do with spirituality as well. So I kind of feel that there's going to be a lot of people might be, you know, working into astrology. Maybe they will be more open with astrology. Some people might be doing uh, readings for a living. I don't know. Uh, those kinds of energy are coming into play as well. So, um, the Pope hierophant card has a lot to do with teaching you know learning something i did mention that and this is really having to do with um, understanding uh people you know and having a heart like i said uh this is the the roar of the lion so um speaking of roar uh being the fifth house ruled by the sun it is a point of creation and vitality but at the same time the sun can also be a point of destruction 
so i would say that there is going to be you know like a rebirth of some kind is something dying and something being reborn and all at the same time you know it's going to be a big factor if we are going to be an, an evolved person or not you know because um leo has the energy of a uh, strong ego so um when it comes to ego this can actually become messy because you know we have our own belief system being active in the sky and right now the most important thing is to understand to understand other people and not stoop into other people's um, energy uh, especially since their emotions and people's emotions are going to run really really high this year because you know leo is all about expressing their feelings expressing their emotions and sometimes uh they don't have any uh, barriers into that you know i i want to say what i want i want to express what i want these are the energies that uh, are really in play uh so let us see what else um have i missed out um yeah uh this also has a lot to do with the spine of a person so make sure that you're not overworking yourself because there could be people that are having heart attacks or suddenly getting really really sick especially since this is a very uh fiery energy you know you might forget to even rest you know you are working so hard you're doing so much uh those kinds of things can be in place so you need to be careful of that form of energy and uh like i said there's going to be tremendous energy so at the same time with positivity in the air there is also a chance wherein people can you know when they get angry they're really going to get angry and they are not afraid to take action so um there's really going to be a high focus energy to leadership of some kind maybe there's going to be a rebellion uh you know someone instigating something to fight for their rights or there could be you know some form of leader or authority going to step up and you know change the uh, change the structure of things change the scenario of things and remember aquarius likes to change things they like to break the rules and they, they like to to begin something to instigate some form of eccentric rule that form of energy and what speaking of that i kind of feel that this could be the year wherein we are going to discover a lot of things and i mentioned this with my friend as well i told her that you know i kind of feel that uh this could be the time we're in you know uh, those high-tech stuff are going to be so much high heightened you know the, the vr kind of stuff you know the virtual something kind of game wherein you don't even need to move your hands you know i mean i'm not saying that's gonna happen in 2021 but i just kind of feel that we are getting close to that very uh very much of a high technology kind of a world um, and speaking of a new era like this is going to make us feel that literally we are entering that form of faith so everything is becoming more more on technology more on computer all those kind of stuff um even so i kind of feel that this can be quite uh difficult for companies and businesses that are very traditional so if you are still um having that form of business i kind of feel that this is something that you really need to think about because with the energy in place and with uranus and taurus aspecting uh saturn and jupiter as a whole something is definitely going to occur especially in terms of your foundation finances as a whole uh there could be changes and this would also be the perfect time for you to to make the change to do something big something um something very very new that can you know that can bring a lot of people into your own energy and own field as well uh 
this is going to be strong uh, our faith and loyalty as a whole i kind of feel that this is the time we're in it's going to be a wonderful energy because um there's going to be less people who are going to be fixated in in this seat i mean you know this is something that every human experience you know people we are always experiencing some form of deceit and misunderstandings but i kind of feel that you know uh, this is the year where we're in there is some form of realness when it comes to relationships when it comes to emotions as a whole we are becoming more real of what we really really want and that is really a wonderful thing however there could be an energy of uncertainty all at the same time if you see me keep looking down, that means that I'm checking in with my notes. So I do apologize for that. Um, so yeah, so, you know, um, being arrogant with certain things and being um, very egotistical and, you know, having some form of attitude issues um, can be a very problematic thing. Um, but this energy is going to give us a lot of courage, a lot of integrity. And, you know, people are becoming, I, I guess, people have a tendency to be more honest this time of the year, which is, you know, a really wonderful energy. Um, also, since we're talking about the sun, this has a lot to do with male, male energy, male people in your life. So if you're a female, there could be a very significant male that might be coming into you. Or if you are a male, that that is really telling us that, you know, maybe you are very much in power or you are empowered or something. It might, it might make you feel like you are on top of the world kind of energy all at the same time. So... Yeah, there's going to be a huge energy for self-expression and, you know, um, emotional and romantic tendencies can really happen. So there could be changes when it comes to your relationships and whether you're single in a relationship or uh, in a marriage of some kind, you know, there's going to be some form of changes right there because when we're dealing with the fifth house, there's definitely going to be romance and affections as a whole. And um, with a, the energy of Aquarius, which is all about change, it is telling us that if you have been single for quite a long while, this is, this is going to change, you know. Aquarius is not going to allow you to be isolated forever <laughs> because, you know, it's all about unpredictability, like I said earlier. So there's going to be so much change happening for you. So, um, yeah. Um, what else? Also, uh, I do believe that uh, another aspect, another number that we have focus here is the number three the number three is all about growth all about progression and it is related to the empress card so you need to be careful because this could be a time wherein a lot of pregnancy can happen this can also be a time of much pleasure and enjoyment but you know like i said uh, we might get too over the top with our pleasures in life and that can manifest in various ways in different ways so um, you need to be careful on that energy but as a whole i feel that this is a really really wonderful time a lot of progression can happen and the number 21 has a lot to do with the world card so the world card is like you know um the end of the cycle it's like this is your last year <laughs> to to really change because after this year um, everything is really um, on a different cycle on a different era I mean we are already entering that phase but I kind of feel it's going to be a lot more stronger as we enter 2022 um, because, but we are already starting to shift into that energy, basically. 
and the world card is a lot to do with success and manifestation so even though there's going to be a lot of change a lot of uncertainties a lot of you know sudden um, upheaval that might occur all at the same time this is also being open to uh, manifestation attaining something big attaining something what we have always wished for what we always wanted what we always want to bring um, into our lives so you know there's going to be a lot of union especially when it comes to aquarius you know aquarius people uh, even though that they're not the most emotional people in the world they are the type of people that really cares for relationships they care for the world basically uh, they care what is happening in the humanity as a whole and they really um, give friendship and associations a huge important aspect of their life uh, you know um, there could be a lot of you know if we see things everything in a negative light there's going to be a lot because this is this has the energy of uranus and no one can predict what uranus is all about but I feel that, you know, there is just so much positivity in this frequency and energy that is going to be transpiring for 2021. And it's just a very exciting thing. And a lot of people might feel youthful again, like they're doing something that they have done in the past. So there is there is a, a pot energy here and a, an energy of really moving forward and really progressing with life, you know. Don't get me wrong. I mean, this is a very futuristic reading because um, it feels as if, you know, something is being unlocked in our brain cells or something like that that allows us to, to really change uh, our circumstances in life. Um, yeah, and also, like, uh, I already mentioned this, but internet is going to be a big deal. So if you are, for example, jobless or having some form of issues in your work or career, I would say that you need to be open when, when it comes to uh, making money online, you know, maybe starting a YouTube channel, showing up on video. Uh, even though I rarely do that <laughs> but, um, but I kind of feel that this is going to be very very prominent so this could be your chance and your time as well all, the, all at the same time Leo energy likes to shine so um, it has a lot to do with theater and you know um, things that are fun they can be very noisy so this could be a very noisy year you know a lot of talking as well we still also have rahu in in the sign of gemini so the gemini and sagittarius aspect is still going to be coming in full-blown um focus this year of 2021 so, um, but because this has a Sagittarius energy, um, Sagittarius is very upbeat, very, uh, very positive and has the blessing of good fortune. So I would say that, you know, uh, this is actually a very wonderful month, uh, uh, sorry, not month, year. This is going to be a wonderful year. And all the same time, um, the retrogrades that is going to be happening uh, for the year of 2021 is all in the air signs so communications our thoughts ideas could be coming into play so there is just so much things that we can look forward to so um this is basically just a video to tell you guys that um this is going to be a better year <laughs> and definitely a year that uh, we can see changes and improvement and finally saying goodbye to corona uh, even though that's not gonna happen you know in a blink of an eye but i kind of feel that nothing is ever gonna stop a lot of people now from going out and stuff like that especially since aquarius has a lot to do with human as a whole so um like I said in cardamancy, that's this has a lot to do with the human body itself. So it's always moving, always changing, and it's not happening in the form of friction, not happening in the form of stagnancy. So definitely there's no stagnancy whatsoever that's going to be happening for this year. 
So um, yeah, um, so far it is a wonderful energy and I do hope um, this comes as a huge blessing for each and every one of us. So regardless of what your personal number is, um, I don't really suggest taking a look on your personal personal year. They could give you information though, just a little bit. But the huge emphasis is going to be the universal number of the year, which is number five. So again, number five is movement. Number five is improvement. And number five is actions and efforts. Has a lot to do with Leo and Aquarius all at the same time, which is, you know, two signs that are very positive and very um, upbeat. Uh, Aquarius has a very lonely kind of energy, but Leo is all about, you know, I am the life of the party, <laughs> that kind of energy, you know, I am the focus. So there's going to be tendency we're in, you know, uh, being isolated, finally being filled with a lot of people surrounding them could happen. So there could be a lot of things having to do with celebrations even. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, and I now close this video and I do hope that this forecast reading gives you a lot of hope, insight, and clarity. And hopefully, um, things really work out for you for the better. And we shall see how this goes next year. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye.